So you can use it like that, or you can use it out of the jar in the fridge. Now, what, what I like to do with potatoes, this is a really nice way, is to cut them up into chunks, reasonable-sized chunks, all right? Not too small, because you want what you want, these are nice golden potatoes, they're Yukon potatoes. What you want is some surface area on them so that they will get nice and crisp. Because you know how everybody goes about crispy potatoes, the bits that come out of the oven. All right, now look, let's do, this This is a simple recipe. If you just want to do potatoes, you can just put them in, in the pot and put a little bit of salt on top of them. And put a little bit of salt on because that starts to suck the juice out and put a little bit of oil on top of them. All right, that's the simplest thing to do. And then you just toss them in the, so they all get coated, all right? A little bit of olive oil in your skin makes it, you know, makes you, makes you delicious, all right? And there you are. Now, that's potatoes. You can put a little bit of pepper on top. And, of course, we said put a little bit of rosemary on top. And you can either scrunch it up like that, but it's really remarkable how it goes into it. Now, that's one way to do it, all right? Now, supposing, I'll cut that bit a bit big. Supposing we decided to get even more exotic about that. You can all you gotta do is throw some tomatoes in with those with those those um, potatoes. And then if you want to get yourself an onion, chop that up into reasonable size pieces. Just cut it up, don't don't chop it. Put that in there, and you've suddenly got a great dish of potatoes. You can do this while you, you know, messing around. Toss it all together to coat it with, with all the flavors. And there it is, it's ready to go. Now that's one way to do it. Now you want to get exotic, Ligurian style? All right, let's be really exotic. Let's put an onion in this one as well. Let's cut the end off there. Better. No, just cut it up so it's usable. All right. And dump the onion in there. Pepper. See, cooking is really, really a simple thing to do. Put some pepper in there. All right. Now, let's put some oh, rosemary. We want rosemary. Always put rosemary with tomatoes, with potatoes. Just chop that all over the thing. Olive oil. We need some olive oil in there. About a tablespoonful. And what you do, the important thing is to make sure that everything gets coated with the olive oil so that it gets nice and crisp on the outside. No olives, because this is a southern Italian way of cooking potatoes. Black olives, you can use either the oil ones or, or the, you know, normally black olives. Put those in there because roasted olives are wonderful. And put a squirt of, all right, I've got some here. My favorite tomato paste over the top. Just put a little bit on there, all right. Now, the rosemary we got in there, got the salt, we got everything ready to go. You wanna put tomatoes on this one. Well, these we're gonna cut in half because they're gonna let the juice out quicker. And it'll all get mixed with the, with the thing. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic.
garlic in there. And squash the garlic. And sprinkle that over the top. All right, there we go. This one's got a bit full, but that's okay. And then to finally fix it, anchovies. Now, anchovies are wonderful. Anchovies, when they get really heated, they tend to, they melt. Nobody knows they're there, so you lay them on the top. Not like pizza, you'll see how these will just disappear. They put them on pizza, very last thing, so you can see them and eat them. That's it, and that's what you do. That's how you cook potatoes, Ligurian style, simple style with rosemary. It's always dying on bung them in the oven at 400 degrees. It's going to take about 20 minutes to cook. I'm going to come back and we're going to do some really simple things with leftover mashed potatoes. Exciting, eh? Hey, I'm not a poutine maker or a beaver tail baker. And I don't eat moose for breakfast or bear for lunch. Although I'm certain they taste really, really good. And I have a sous chef, not an assistant cook. The labels on my cans are in English and French, not American. And I pronounce it barbecue, not CBQ. And I can proudly drink beer over 3%. I believe in saute, not deep fried. Kilograms, not pounds. And that the fiddlehead is a proud and noble vegetable. Stuffing is called dressing, and Thanksgiving is in October, not November, October. Canada is the second largest supplier of wheat, the first nation of bacon, and the tastiest part of North America. My name is Penny, and I am Canadian. Watch what you eat. This is Food Network Canada. Is that okay? This program is brought to you by French's Mustard. Smile, you've got French's. She's got grace. She's got style. She does everything with a smile. Aesthetics with attitude. We'll be designing under the influence and getting away with it. Design for Living with Kimberly Salvin. Weeknights at 9.30 on HGTV. Introducing something new from Lipton. Oh. 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 Yeah, just a little to the... Oh. Instant has OXO gravy. Lipton Sidekicks mashed potato. You're watching Food Network Canada. Your wood floors have aged. Step by step by step. Don't they deserve three more? Introducing Verithane Renewal. In three easy steps, turn back the mileage. Renewal's no sanding system quickly refinishes floors with a professional diamond hard finish that lasts for years. No mess, no big expense. So take your floors back to new with Renewal, the no sanding way to refinish wood floors. Check it out. Can you do my back? Eat sensibly. Be happy with who you are. Come join Food Network Canada as we swing our way into the holiday season with our Sunday night special presentation. Hi, I'm Sarah Moulton. Travel with Sarah Moulton as she searches for the perfect holiday cookie swap. If you're not in here, you don't get the cookies. Share the traditions of old friends. Enjoy their recipes, and maybe even pick up a tip or two for your own cookie swap. Happy it's a holiday cookie swap with Sarah Moulton, Sunday at 9. This is Food Network Canada. Right, potatoes, all right. And then now we're going to do some leftover, well, not leftover, some cooked potatoes. You should always cook twice as many potatoes as you're going to eat, because you can always do great things with them the next day. Something special about tomatoes, it's really nice. I'm cutting up this um, this red pepper, just banging the seeds out of it. It's the approved North American way of getting seeds out of um, seeds. I 
did a course in this at university. And there we just get rid of those. Um, I'm going to make two salads, or maybe three, um, but show you how to make really nice and different ones. I want them. The thing is to make them colorful. First thing I'm going to do, put some nuts in a hot fry pan and let them toast. Um, now I'm going to just cut that off there. Get the seeds out again. And now, that, now we can go. I've got some green onions. Whoops! It happens sometimes. And my cat doesn't like peppers, which is unfortunate, so I'm going to have to pick it up. Chop up the green onions. Now, what we've got here is a lot of color happening. So we want to use all these nice bits of green onions. Throw the whiskers away. Make it look pretty. I mean, this is simple. You've got all this stuff when you come home. So, I'm going to take potatoes out of the fridge. It doesn't matter which kind, red ones or you know, yellow ones. And you've got to cut them up. This is the big thing. You've got to cut them up. So, uh, we'll use these yellow ones. They're nice. Again, Yukon Gold. See the lovely buttery color of them. And when you cook potatoes, I, I love to cook potatoes with the skin on because they're better for you. And I like the taste of the skin. Just give them a good scrub. So, potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. The easiest of cooking, just to cut stuff up. You can do this. And if you're under five, get your mum to help you. And if you're under ten, get your mum to help you too. But, you know, just get the potatoes cut up. The trick is not the cutting up of the potatoes. The trick is really, get them in chunks so you can chew The trick is really in the making of the dressing. So let's start with that lot. Now let's put some color with it. There's some red, and there's some yellow. We would have had more yellow, but you know, it fell on the floor. So what are you going to do? yellow and red and green we've got yellow and red and green there we go all right that's a start we want some couple of little tomatoes we'll cut those up and when you get really clever you can line them up like that with a sharp knife you see and do two can we do three in one go one two three sharp knife Missed it. Yeah, you are trying to be clever. Don't try to be clever. Just try to have fun. A couple of tomatoes in there. You've got all these nice potatoes. No! Everybody knows about ordinary potato salad. Let's do something different here. Let's get some oregano. Let's make a dressing that will just knock them cold. Put some oregano in there and a little bit of salt. Mm, a little bit of salt. That's what you need. Some mustard. About a teaspoonful, maybe a bit more, of mustard. Okay, and we've got the oregano in here. And now, this is the real secret. Orange juice. Orange juice. Think about it. Two tablespoonfuls of frozen orange juice. See, it builds up. So that's about two tablespoonfuls. Like that. Okay? All right. Now, stir that together. It takes a little while to melt, but just stir it together. And put with it some... Here, let me just stir this up here. Put with it some ordinary mayo. Got some in the fridge here. Mayo. Three tablespoonfuls of mayo. All right. So there's a different salad dressing for you with mayo and orange juice and mustard. This will keep for three or four days if you make too much of it. And it tastes terrific.
because what you're going to do with it, give it another flavor, indeed, which is, I'm going to put that on there, another flavor, which is toasted walnuts. And then you put those on there, you toss the whole lot together with a wooden spoon, and you let it sit. See, potato salad has to sit and has to sit and marinate. The potatoes absorb the nice flavors. And that's, that's one. All right, you just let that sit, and it's a nice, simple vegetarian one. Supposing you wanted to do an even simpler one, vegetarian, again, well, not totally vegetarian, but almost vegetarian, okay? Once again, take your colors, a bit of yellow, here we go, a bit of green, whole lot together, a bit of potato, since it's a potato salad. Here we go, there's the skin that comes off, it's all right. Um, just cut it up, like this. What I do with this frequently is put something like sardines with it. But I haven't got any sardines this time. So, here's my colorful salad. Here's my fancy dressing, the one with the orange juice in it, all that stuff. Okay, scrape that out of there. Orange juice and mayo and oregano. All right, toss that all together. Toss it so it's all pretty. And then, when you've got it all nicely organized, what I do is grab a can of salmon and put that into the middle of it. Now, some people drain salmon. If they do, then that's what you do. Drain it off. But of course, if I was draining this, I'd mix it in with the dressing because it's nice. And you make a little hole in the middle, and you put it right in the middle, and you put a sprig of parsley in the middle of it. And you take it to the table, and you say, aren't I clever? I'll be back in two minutes. I'll go away. One madman. Four chefs. A host of challengers. And one really big kitchen. Caught it up. Who will be the one to topple the Iron Chefs in the quest for world food domination? Join us for the ultimate food fight, Iron Chef, on Food Network Canada, tonight at 10. Brought to you by Ziploc Containers. Ziploc, all you ever wanted in a container. Ziploc Containers, test number eight. If you can't remember how long they've been in the fridge, just remember, one is affordable enough to throw. Ziploc, all you ever wanted in a container. Are your can lids dangerously sharp? Solution Sharpret, the new Securimax Maximum Security Can Opener leaves no sharp edges. The precision cutting blade penetrates the can's lid. While cutting, the blade compresses the edges of the can and its lid so that they're never left sharp or jagged. What's more, the Securimax opens cans of every shape and size and has a gripper that holds and easily removes the lid so you never need to touch it. The new Securimax Can Opener from Sharpret. Satisfaction guaranteed. Our motto on the Great Canadian Food Show is whenever possible, buy fresh, buy local, buy Canadian. And when we say fresh, we mean fresh. The Great Canadian Food Show, Monday at 9.30 on Food Network Canada. You're watching Food Network Canada. If you can do that with an egg, watch it, all right? See? If you can do that with an egg, it's hard-boiled. If it won't spin like that, it's because it's all sloppy inside, it's not. Well, that's how you can tell if you've got a mix in the fridge. I bet you didn't know that. All right, now what we're going to do right now is make a nice Peruvian cake called a cosa. But it's not a cake, it's for lunch or it's for dinner. And it's really an interesting thing to do. You, it really is ridiculous. I um, want some mashed potatoes and cold mashed potatoes, okay? and dump them in a bowl. 
I have to dump them in a bigger bowl, not this one, because um, there's not enough room to do the other things. Now, this is really interesting. You get some turmeric. Now, every supermarket's got turmeric. Turmeric, the Indian source call it haldi, but it's a prime ingredient in, in you know, tandoori things. It makes it lovely and yellow. So you, mix, you get some haldi, some nice turmeric, and the juice of a lime. Best way to get the juice out of a lime is to squeeze it. Now, if you don't do that, you're not going to get much juice out of it. So there, and uh, just squeeze it through your fingers. And if there's any pits in it, most limes don't have pits in these days. But uh, here you are. That's got the lime juice out. Now, you just mix that together. All that, see? They're just mixing it together, and it looks sort of brownie don't worry just watch what happens there it's a, now you can see that now all right scrape it all out of there into the mashed potatoes this gives it this is an absolutely wild thing this is a great thing for a lunch or a party or whatever just sludge it all around until it goes you know it's going to take a little bit so while that's happening, I'm going to cook another dish while that's happening. I'm going to get this parsley and cut the stalks off, the major, major stalks. Put some oil in a fry pan. All right. A couple of three tablespoonfuls of oil. This is another thing to do with leftover potatoes. And fry the parsley. All right. Good. Give it a good fry. Turn over let it fry mm -hmm. until it starts to go crisp just move it about a bit and you can smell it and it'll taste absolutely nutty it's a wonderful thing to do with parsley i've had deep fried parsley in 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 um in um japan and it's just great and then you get some potatoes i'm gonna come back and finish this in a minute don't worry and you just get some old some used potatoes well, not used, but, you know, leftover potatoes. And throw those in with the, the parsley. Just for a quick thing that you want to have for your supper. Something different, all right? And you could have it with a pork chop if you weren't vegetarian, or you could have it with a bit of chicken or a bit of fish. Just let it all cook together in the oil with the crisp-up parsley. And that's... All you got to do with that, it's a sort of lukewarm, quick potato salad. Put a little bit of salt, put a little bit of salt on it. That's, that's how you do that. So that's done. That didn't take long, did it? Now this nice cake here. Sludge the potatoes around until they are all a nice uniform color. And then get yourself, get yourself a plate. It's a good looking plate have this one and spoon about half of this out into the middle of it now this is where you get to be really creative make it look nice and pat it down use your fingers around the edge this is like making mud pies but it's great and if you want to be really fussy you can do all this in the edge like that okay now you get yourself a can of tuna and you drain off the liquid that you don't want. Let me just drain that up in that cup. Always have a cup handy. Okay, so we'll put the tuna in there. We'll put some chopped green onions in with the tuna. Anyway. Learn to chop them up quickly. Get a sharp knife and keep your fingers out of the way. There, mix that with the tuna. And get a little bit of mayonnaise. Mix that with the tuna. About three tablespoonfuls of mayonnaise. All right, 
and just sludge that around until it's all mixed together and spread that on top of the cake that's in there. And be fussy about it. Be a little bit fussy. Make it look nice. Make it look pretty. Then get the rest of the potatoes. And the pan is the best way to do this. The rest of the potatoes and pat it out into a cake again and lay it on the top. Pat it all together. Get a nice push it together like that. Now, to finish it, chopped an egg all right, on the top of it. Chopped avocado. That's it. That's how you do it. I'm put this on. I'll be back in two minutes. I'm just going to fix this up. We've got potatoes in the oven. Don't go away. Get ready for two hours of fantastic recipes whipped up right before your eyes. First, it's Cooking Live with Sarah Moulton, followed by Emerald Live. That's all tonight on Food Network Canada. She's got grace. She's got style. She does everything with a smile. Aesthetics with attitude. We'll be designing under the influence and getting away with it. Design for Living with Kimberly Seldon, weeknights at 9.30 on HGTV. Check it out. Can you do my back? Eat sensibly. Be happy with who you are. Watch what you eat. This is Food Network Canada. Ziploc containers. Test number 12. Both of these containers can go into the microwave. One of them doesn't always make it. Ziploc. All you ever wanted in a container. Brought to you by Ziploc Containers. Ziploc. All you ever wanted in a container. Expand your cooking expertise. We love going out for Greek food. But can you show us how to make it at home? Canadian Living Cooks is here to help. You're going to hear the word delicious a lot. Join the experts of Canadian Living's Test Kitchen as they bring you mealtime solutions and entertaining menus. They look really good, Elizabeth. Yes, no, they are very nice. Turn your challenges into sweet rewards. So gather around, all you chocoholics, because it is chocolate day today. Canadian Living Cooks, coming up next on Food Network Canada. We've got more for you on Food Network Canada. Right, now look. Two kinds of Italian ones, Ligurian ones, and nice, simple, ordinary ones. We did a great potato salad, a fancy one with nuts and stuff. We did two other kinds, and we did the cake. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put that in there, and that is potatoes. Potatoes are what get an awful lot of people through the winter, and it's just because they keep them in the right place. You don't keep them in the fridge, keep them dark in a cool place. You don't buy potatoes that have got green on them, and you just look after them. You just keep them cool, keep them dark, don't tell them anything. Well, thank you for coming, and, you know, thank you for watching, and thank you for your patience. And if you're going to cook it simple, sometimes people say it must be simple money, but you're not. You're just having a good time, and you also, well, having a good time is the big deal. So, there, there's your birthday. So, you're okay. I'll sing happy birthday.